Hi, I'm Jennifer Garropy, the pet therapist, and I work with people who have pets, often dogs, who have unwanted behaviors, such as barking nonstop when people come over, or pooping inside the house, or chewing up their shoes in the couch, and they're super frustrated and just need this behavior to go away. So today what I want to talk about is what to do when your kid asks for a dog or a cat. This is a great opportunity to ask your kid about the big R. The big R is responsibility. Ask your kid, hey, are you willing to get up early before school to take the dog out for a walk? Are you willing to clean out the cat litter box twice a day? Are you willing to scoop all the poop out of the backyard every week? Now, if your kid is like most kids and like I was, they're going to say, oh yes, of course, of course, of course I will, right? But we all know that that may not actually be the truth. So how do you test this? Well, there's three great ways to test whether your kid is ready for the responsibility of having a pet. The first one is put your kid to work for the neighbors. Neighbors going on vacation, have your kid dog sit or cat sit. Do they want someone to walk their dog every day? Um, kid can do that after school. And that's a, a way for them to, for your kid to see if they're able to um, handle this responsibility with your supervision, of course. And um, it's just a super easy, gentle kind of way to ease into this. So the second way is to volunteer to shelter. I can tell you from firsthand experience that shelters need lots of volunteers. And some of them will even take really young kids as long as you're there with them, helping them and supervising them. Uh, I myself have done this with um, a cat shelter, have scooped many a cat litter box, um, refilled water bowls, refilled um, pet food bowls, played with the dogs, played with the cats. These are a good way for you to see if your kid like avidly just dives into these tasks or if your kid all of a sudden turns into like uh, a little prince or princess and is like, no, gosh, are you kidding me? I'm not going to touch that stuff. I'm not going to scoop that poop. And then the third reason, I mean, the third way is a way that I really think is really neat um, and that you may especially not have thought of. And that is to contact a rescue group, not a shelter, but a rescue group, and see if they need someone to house one of their, uh, one of their animals um, while the, the animal waits to get adopted. And foster groups often, unlike shelters, they don't often have any space for the animals. They rely on homes, individual homes, to take care of these pets. And it could be anywhere from a couple weeks to, gosh, maybe even up to a year where you're taking care of this pet in your home. And this is a great trial run because it's full blown, right? You might want to try the other methods first, the shelter and the helping out the neighbors first before you graduate to this step. And what I especially love about this, um, this way of doing it is not only is it an amazing help to the rescue and saves an animal's life, but it's also, um, it's kind of like um, trying out a, 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 a company, right? Like getting a temp job and trying out the job before you decide whether you're gonna take the job. And this is a great trial run then for your family to see if that particular pet um, is a good fit for you um, and vice versa. So those are my tips on what to say when your kid asks for a dog or a cat. Hope it's been helpful and hope you have a great rest of your day. Thanks so much.